Um, let me quickly go to an example. So if you have um, Windows 10, Mac, or Linux, you can get into a terminal or command window. And there you usually can type in commands. You know, in, in, in um, Windows, it would be dir, where you get the directory contents. In Linux or Mac, it's ls, where you can see all the files that I currently have here. Let's not show that. Um, and basically, you can also start there with your secure shell into our server. And for that, you basically type in that thing that, I, that you saw earlier. And this is one example. So this is now my account, my ID number for um, two years ago. So it's usually the year, your ID, and then uh, the server name. <clears throat> and if all, everything works well, yeah, then you're asked for a password. So now the server asks for a password. I will type that in without showing it there. And we are there. Good. So now we're on our server and we have two panes or two console windows. The nice thing about having two console windows is that you can compile in one or test things in one and edit files in the other. It's a very basic thing. You know, in the 80s, programmers used to program like this. Um, sometimes still, it's not a nice IDE, but it's, bas it's the bare bones thing that will allow you to adjust to any IDE in the future. And this is the, this is the, the, the concept behind this. So, so here we can do ls. You see only one file here. And you will be asked for your first... Uh, assignments to make a directory called example or x001. Uh, also there, two zeros are very important. If you add a zero, um, things will not work later on. Or we will not able to, f uh, we're, we will be having a harder time to find your codes. Let's put it that way. So let's make this uh, directory. So now this directory is there. We can also show it in a little bit more detail. Uh, I am the owner of that directory. I'm a, a, of type students. Um, <laughs> That time it was uh, created, so April 4th is today, this is the time, uh, early in the morning. And we can go into that as this directory with C, not C, CD. There we go. So now we're in this directory, which is empty. And then the first thing you usually do is create a file. So for creating the file, we use a very simplistic editor. If, you're, if you know Linux or Linux environment already, you probably know Vi or uh, Emacs. These two are great, however, they have too many options, I think, for novices. Nano is the simplistic editor that everybody needs or wants, I, I would say. Um, so then you basically just create your uh, CPP file. This is a C++ file, which is also, of, co of course, empty when you start. Now, um, what shall we write? What is the most simplistic program that you can write? No, it's not Hello World. <laughs> Actually, but the Hello World you could use, but that, but this is not the most simplistic. Welcome in Deutschland. The what? Welcome in Deutschland. Welcome in Deutschland. <laughs> that is too hard. No, 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 no. I'll show you. So basically, the most simplistic program that you can write is basically a program that just tells the operating system whether an error occurred or not. So in your C++ program, or C, this is basically C that we're starting with, what you will always have is a main function, which looks like this. Uh, we will see later what this means. Um, but basically, it's a main function, which is a function, takes no arguments the way we implement it here. That's between the brackets. You can also uh, get parameters there, like in a math, uh, math notation. Between the curly brackets, we will define what this, math function, uh, what this main function does, and it will return an integer. Therefore, this int over there. And the way we, um, oops, mark, mark unset, I have this uh, there, unset. Um, what we can do then is return a value. What is your favorite number? A bit louder? 30? I'm not sure if I understood that right, but let's say that. Um, so we always comment our code. This is something that you will see as well. This is uh, returns, boom, uh, to the operating system. Right, so I will save this. Saving is very important, otherwise this file is not really um, um, there yet. This is now in memory, but not on the disk. If we save it, it's on the disk, right? We wrote three lines of codes, as you can see there. 
Now, in the other command, as I said, we're not there yet, so we need to go to, to that, uh, that directory. So we are there where the CPP file is. And then one of the first things that you will then need, uh, that you will uh, see, is then that you can, well, we can also see how big our file is, for instance. Our file is um, 59 bytes, which is very little. Um, and we can compile this. And we'll see that if you compile this, you use a G++ command. Then we need to tell what it needs to compile. So that's uh, hype.cpp, that is the name of our file. And we need to tell it which pro uh, to which program executable it needs to uh, compile and build this into. So, and that's what we do with the minus O, so this is uh, output. And then we'll, since it's called high.cpp, we'll also call it high, right? So, and it was flawless, that's great. So there are no errors there. Um, and now we don't have just this, uh, this text file, this high.cpp file, but we have also our executable. We can do this like this. Oops, we can drag it a bit. Let's also whoosh, put a bit more space here. So now we have an executable of 8,552 bytes. And if we execute this, and in the command line, when you execute a local command, then you do dot slash high, and it will return this value. Now you don't see this value because we didn't say in this, um, in this uh, function main here that it should print something to the console. No, we should we tell it, give this number to the operating system. And if you, want, if you want to know what this return value was in the operating system, you still need to do echo, I think it is this, yes. So there you can see the return value from this program was 30, okay? Continue. 